says is the violence of pain. That violent pain. I don't want you to have this casual religious faith of just saying, I believe one day. No, 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 no. I want you to have the faith that is unstoppable. The faith that does not take no for an answer. Let me give you three stories if we can manage. Read this. One, two, three, let's go. Give me the next one. One, two, three, let's go. Faith will always Talk to me. Faith will always again. Faith will always give me the next one. Let's go. Faith will always have its way on I'm not hearing you. Faith will always have on any Faith will always have on any. Give me the last one. One, two, three, let's go. Faith is a. Nothing can. <laughs> Listen, faith is a what? I must hear you. Faith is a what? Listen, I want you to understand faith. Because you see, you must, you, you, most of you do not understand the root of this ministry. Everything in this ministry was born on the platform of faith. Do you know that faith is what makes you pray? Do you know if you don't believe, you will not go to pray? Do you know why people are not praying? They have no faith. <laughs> Listen, why people are not praying they have no faith? Why are people failing to give? They have no faith. Why is there no signs and wonders? People, quickly, mark Mark 16, 15. Verse 17 is where we'll sit. Everything. You can't do the works of God without faith. You cannot be saved without faith. You cannot please God without faith. The only thing, I might end with that, that counts is faith operating through love. Let's read this together. One, two, three, let's go. He said to them, go into all, preach. Give me the next verse. Whoever and is, will be. So listen, you can't be saved if you can't believe. But whoever does not believe will be condemned. Most of the condemnation in your life has been because of not believing. Please hear what you are hearing. Most of the areas where you have been condemned, whether it's in the financial life, whether it's spiritually, there, there is a faith you have never developed. That's why in that area you are being condemned. Let's read this together. One, two, three. And this who the signs who accompany who? Just any believer? No. And I'm using believers in the, the way we call ourselves believers. Oh, you're a Christian. Oh, you're a believer. Oh, you're a disciple. No. Those who believe. So imagine, without faith, you cannot be saved. Without faith, it says you'll be condemned. It says without faith, you don't have a life of the miraculous. The supernatural is closed. Without faith, signs, you don't walk in them. The work we are supposed to do, John 14, 12. 
the work we are supposed to do comes by faith. John, 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 John. Can we read this together? One, two, three, let's go. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you what is the truth. Let's go. Who? <laughs> Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the... Imagine without faith, Hebrews 11.6, you can't please God. Without faith, 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Anyone who's born of God overcomes the world. How does that victory come? Through faith. Meaning, imagine, look at the, how dangerous this subject is. Without faith, you will never see victory. Without faith, you are barren of signs and wonders. Without faith, you cannot be saved. Without faith, you cannot please God. Without faith, you cannot obtain the promise. Every promise of God anchors on faith. Do you know that we were not even supposed to follow people anyhow? Let me see if I can open this quickly. Hebrews, Hebrews 13. Give me verse 7. Hebrews 13 and verse 7. Can we read this together? One, two, three, let's go. Remember, talk to me, Barak Ministries. Remember, who did what? What must you consider? And what must you do? What must you do? What must you do? The only thing you are supposed to follow, the only thing you are supposed to imitate is the faith of your leaders, the faith of people who have gone ahead of you. That's the only thing God wants you to follow, their faith. Not their doubts, not their fears, not their worries, not their failures, not what happened to them. No, their faith. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. And tell somebody we are blessed in this ministry. Tell somebody we have a bulldozer in the school of faith. Tell somebody we have a bulldozer in the school of faith. Do you know what it is when HIV AIDS was a disease? Right now it's not even a, as a disease as it was. Tell somebody there is medicine now. Tell somebody there is no stigma now. Tell somebody, everyone is used to it now. Imagine somebody, God tells them, I have healed you, forget about your blood. I have not just healed you so that you sing alone. Uh, he has healed me. Go on national TV and tell the world that I have healed you. Do you know one of the things when we went to Rema, South Africa, why they respected me and my wife when we entered that place, apart from the way we lived, was the faith of prophetess. Do you know she left a mark in that school? Because most of the whites do not even believe that you can be healed of HIV. Tell somebody faith. Tell somebody faith. Tell somebody faith. Ask somebody, what are you following? Because the only thing God wants you to follow is our faith. Is the faith of the ancients. The faith of men and women who defiled. Tell somebody your time to take over has come. Ah, go to 11. Go to 11. Hebrews 11. Give me verse 33. 
I want to show you because you don't talk about faith except God wants people to rise. <sighs> Can we read this together? One, two, three, let's go. Maybe let's start it from 31 so that you understand where it's coming from. The whole chapter, you know, is a chapter of faith. Let's read the, maybe even go behind a bit, quickly, 29, then we run down, 29. Let's go, one, two, three, let's go. Tell somebody you cannot deal with the Red Sea without faith. Give me the next verse. Let's go. Tell somebody it's not just to make noise. There must be faith in your noise. Tell somebody you must believe in your shout. Tell somebody that war fell by faith. Give me the next verse. Then it goes on to talk about the prostitute. Tell somebody faith can change your story. <laughs> Tell somebody faith can change your status. Tell somebody faith can change your lineage. Tell somebody faith can change your alignment. It says down there now. He says, what? He says, and what more shall I say? I do not have time to talk about Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and the prophets. What is it that he wanted to talk about these guys? Let's read together. One, two, three, let's go. Who? 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 That's what I want you to get. Who? Who? Everything you want is going to happen through faith. Everything you want is going to happen how? My year of unusual miracles. How? I have received unusual wealth. How? What has taken others 10 years? I am operating in it in one year. How? Listen. Through faith. What did they do through faith? Let's start from the top. Through faith, they did what? Conquered kingdoms. Administered justice. Gained what was promised. Who shut the mouth of? Give me the next verse. Let's go. Quench the fury of the? Tell somebody, fire cannot stop faith. Tell somebody, lions cannot stop faith. You now understand when you hear people talking that they don't have faith. You tell somebody to say, start something. And the person can't start. What is the issue? Faith. You see a man, sees a, a woman he likes, and he can't propose. What is that? What is that? No faith. You know, most of you right now, you have got faith already. You have never started. You know what the problem is? No. By faith, Abraham left. By faith, he left, he left what was common to him. By faith. Why people are not doing kingdom business? People don't have faith. Lions were dealt with. The fire was dealt with. Look at this. Let's continue. 
They escaped the edge of the... Tell somebody the sword was dealt him. Let's go. Whose weakness was turned. Tell somebody faith has got the power to turn every weakness into strength. Christ. He says, and who became I know you are reading it, but I wish you could understand what is going to become of you. Right now, you might not be powerful, but the Bible says they became. You see, if you understood what you just heard, you would have shouted better. Listen, faith turned. I know right now you look weak financially. I know right now you look weak emotionally. I know right now you look weak in many areas. But listen, through faith, you can turn that weakness into strength. I know right now your life doesn't look anything. You look very weak. I know right now you don't look anything powerful. You don't even look as if you can fight a battle. But listen, it says, and who became powerful in battle and rooted foreign armies. Listen, Barak Ministries, I wish you could know. I took two weeks out. I shut down. I wish you could understand what will happen in you. Who became powerful? Our days of power come. You know, the speaks a lot. Our days of power come. Our days of power have come. Our days of power have come. Give me the next verse. Let's go. Women. Uh huh. Others are refused so that. Anything that is dead in your life, it's coming back to life. You did not hear me. Anything that has died in your life, it's coming back to life. I said, everything, anything that pertains to your life and the kingdom of God that has died is coming back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I see things coming back to life. You are not hearing me. I see things coming back to life. I see businesses coming back to life. I see marriages coming back to life. I see ministries coming back to life. I see dead anointings coming back to life. Everything that has died, come back to life. Stand up, stand up, stand up. I want you to pray one prayer over your life. I don't know what it is that I died. I can mention what I'm picking and say, but things you know that have died. And today, by faith, I want them to come alive. I want you to pray, then I'll pray. Whatever it is that has died, it might be your marriage that is dying, it might be your children that are dying. You are losing your children to the world. It might be your business that is dying. It might be your ministry that is dying. I do not know what has died. It might be your spiritual life that has died. It might be your walk with God has died. To come to church is a burden. To serve God is a burden. Something has died. I want to open your mouth and go back to life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth, child of God. And begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever has died, call it back to life. My father, I call back to life over this ministry. The prayer ministry, Lord God Jehovah. I call back the prayer ministry, Lord God Jehovah. 
I call back my father, the dedicated service, my father. I call back, Lord God, Jehovah. Hey, sons, my father. I call back sons. I call daughters, my father. By every sonship that died, every daughter that had died, that they stopped functioning as a daughter, stopped functioning as the son I call them back I call back healings my father every health that has died I call back health every health that has died I call back health in the name of Jesus Christ lift your right hand my father I bring this church before the throne of grace daddy as a man you have set over this ministry. I pray every dead thing from spiritual to financial to emotional to family to career every dead thing I pray Father in the mighty name of Jesus come alive now come alive now! 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 Father, we thank you. Come on, lift your hands and give thanks to the Lord. Just give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Father, we thank you for dead things come alive. Thank you that daddy businesses have received back to life. Children are received back to life. Health is received back to life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that Heavenly Father destinies that were dying, they come alive today. We pray this, Father, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Please take your sis, church. Let me have titers. Let me have titers. 10% of everything that comes...